Welcome to Studs on Mark Carl. I've got a great show lined up for you today. We have three beautiful young ladies. How are you, ladies? They're excited to be here because we fixed them up with two guys. Two guys that we carefully screened through our process of basically flipping cards into a wastebasket. No further ado, let's meet the ladies, shall we? Join us today. Let me introduce you. Right next to me is Shaney Goldberg, a 20-year-old speech pathology student. Welcome, yeah. Shaney. <laughs> next to her is Lori Morrissey, a 22-year-old aerobics instructor. Welcome, Lori. Yeah. And way down at the end is Tacoa Matthews, a 19-year-old yeah. airman with an Air National Guard. Yeah. So uh, you're in the National Guard. Uh -huh. uh, what kind of? You ever date other guys in the? In the service? Uh huh, Marines. Why? Because they're sexy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, how about you, Lori? What kind of guy are you looking for? Uh, I like him pretty muscular, built, and intelligent, and a good sense of humor. Is it hard to find guys who are muscular and built and intelligent both in the same package? Uh, they're out there. You just gotta find them, look for them. Okay. All right, Shaney, you're a speech pathology student. Well, what kind of guy d d is diction important he in a boyfriend? Have, he can't have any speech problems. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be intelligent and determined, good looking, physically fit, sense of humor, caring. I could list off a million things. All right, well, let's, uh, let's meet our two studs today. Phil and Mike, come on out. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Mike, good to have you here. Have a seat, guys. All right. Right next to me is. Uh, Right next to me is 22-year-old business student Phil Acalp. Give him a hand. And next to him is Mike Battaglio, a 22-year-old personal trainer. Give Mike a big hand. All right. Guys, you know the rules. The guy with the most hearts at the end of the show is crowned king stud. You get to go on a fab estate that we pay for. Fair enough? Yes, All right, we'll start with you, Phil. Um, pretty good-looking guy, you think? Some people say so, thanks. Some people? What do women say when they, uh, what do they like most about the way you look? Um, I'd probably have to say uh, I get a lot of comments on my smile sometimes. Your smile? Yeah, okay. it's crooked and I can't help it. Oh, okay. And that kind of zany shaved haircut, I kind of like that. Thanks. Yeah. All right, well, we asked these ladies what they thought of your physical appearance, Phil, and here's what they told us. The first lady said, that Cabbage Patch butt's just right for picking. <laughs> Second lady said, I love every one of his hot little whiskers. <laughs> and the third lady said, wow. I'm dating the handsomest man in all of Munchkinland. Oh. Yeah. I love every one of his hot little whiskers was Lori. Yes. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Why, Lori? Yeah. Because when he picked me up, it was kind of late and dark, and I just noticed this rough look. I liked it. I liked that rough look. <laughs> kind of the Marlboro look. Kind of a Marlboro man. Yeah? yeah. Why? Doesn't that scratch turns, up your face? It turns me on. Okay. <laughs> Don't need to go any further there. Uh, cabbage Pat butts just right for picking or wow. Handsomest man in Munchkin land. Wow, I'm dating the handsomest man in Munchkin land. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that was Shaney. No. Nope. Oh! <laughs> What'd you say, Shaney? I said he has a cabbage patch butt just right for picking. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Is his butt made of cloth? No, it's just. I think of a cabbage as full and firm. <laughs> so he doesn't have a romaine butt. That would be kind of oh, limp no, and wilted. No, right is... <laughs> okay. You don't want a leafy butt. No leafy. All right. Mike. Yep. As mayor of the Munchkin City in the Merry Merry Land of Oz, I'd like to ask you uh, if you can tell anything when you talk to a woman on the phone. Tell anything about her. Yeah, I can usually tell what their personality is like, what, what they're going to be like when I go out with them, how, how the date's going to turn out. Really? Just yeah. from talking to them? Yep, just from talking to them. All right, well, we asked the ladies if they were that psychic about you when they talked to you on the phone, Mike. And here's what they said. One lady said, he sounds like the most bitchin' boy in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and the second lady said, it was a wonderful conversation, if you like single syllables. <laughs> and, the, oh. and the third lady said, hail Mike, king of the hamsters. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, Mike. Uh, me neither. I'd say he sounds like the most bitchin' boy on the beach would be Lori. No. Oh, I was ready to give you the Malibu Barbie and Ken Hart for that one. Uh, what'd you say, Lori? I said, hail Mike, king of the hamsters. But I didn't mean 
didn't mean. He just had a cute, squeaky little voice, and it sounded fun and, um, uh -huh. you know, full of energy and exciting. Did it sound like he was on a habit trail while he was talking to you? <laughs> while well, he breath? was chewing something, and I, I heard, like, crunching or something. <laughs> it's probably cedar bark. <laughs> Who I thought he was the most bitchin' boy on the beach? I do. Tacoa. Yeah. Why? Well, he sounded like really laid back and like a surfer dude, you know, so I expected to see like a totally bronze, you know, surfer guy. It's like, you know, yeah. And you were pretty right. All right, come on back. We're going to find out more about our two studs and our studettes when we return. <laughs>